the Gimp Ninja. All right, so recently in my local newspaper, there was this little gem here, the parable of the carrot. I went into the grocery store not too long ago. It was one of those very busy days where I decided to grab something to eat on the run. I really don't I really don't know what I wanted to eat, but I thought I'd go in and browse and see what attracted my attention and appetite. That's bullshit. You'll find that out in a minute here. I'm not sure why I had the visceral reaction that I did when I entered the grocery store. I'd been in that grocery store many times, but for some reason my eyes were open that day, and I saw something I had not seen before. When anyone enters a grocery store, what's the first thing we come across? Certainly the buggies or the baskets are there for a convenience. Well, yeah, usually. Sometimes I brush up into a buggy and basket alike, and then I end up doing a juggling act and fuck around and uh, add a bunch of shit because we needed more words in this article. If you can call it an article. It wasn't the buggies or baskets that drew my attention, but rather what came next. All the processed and ready-to-eat food. Now don't get me wrong, I like pepperoni and cheese sticks and ready-made sandwiches, and the list goes on. In fact, I liked them far too much. But for a change, I resisted my temptation and went on. Next were the goodies, pastries, ice cream, pies, cookies. I could hear all those goodies calling to me. Okay, what the hell kind of grocery store has all the processed shit right out front? And the cheese and all that stuff. Where is this grocery store? Is any grocery store I've ever been in, the first thing after you, when you get through the door, always the frickin' fruits and the vegetables and all that stuff right out front where you can get to it. But, apparently this is some magic grocery store. I could hear all the goodies calling out to me. Charlie, why are you passing us by? Oh, his name's Charlie. Maybe that's it. Maybe this is a Mexican grocery store. Anyways. I finally came to the place I was looking for. The produce. Oh, maybe he went in the back door. Because apparently this is an ass backwards grocery store. I ended up choosing a rather fine specimen of carrot. Because, you know, what better for an afternoon snack than one carrot? I found just the right one and took it to the checkout. The checkout lady didn't see my purchase at first, had it clutched in my hot little hand. And okay then. Knocking shit down. She continued to be a bit bewildered until I as I produced my one carrot. The lady practiced huge self-control and saying so and not saying something like, Are you some kind of fucking weirdo? You spent all that time looking for one carrot and get the hell out of here, you freak. To explain what kind of a nut I am would have taken far too long. No kidding. I tell you this tale is not so much to expose my eccentricities, but to share an insight. That insight is that all the stuff you really... <laughs> all the stuff that really isn't good for you is out front and center if you go to this Mexican grocery store. That's all ass backwards. It could be the processed foods or a great many other things that you encounter every day. The junk is sometimes in the printed word, like this. The junk is sometimes heard on the radio or podcasts. The junk can be experienced everywhere as you go. Not this channel, this is all great shit. You know, upvote, comment, subscribe, yeah. It's no great leap of logic or insight to say that it's up to you and me to discern what is junk and what is not. Notice I didn't give any ex specific examples of junk. Ah, oh, fuck me. I think this was done after, you know, two paragraphs and we had to stretch it out. I did, not, I did that on purpose because, you know, the junk is lurking around the parameters of your life and you can identify the junk quite happily yourselves. You don't mean, need me doing that. Beware the junk and blah blah blah, it's all junk and yeah, fucking junk. People are idiots. And when they write shit like this to make you think about your own life when they're just using completely nonsense examples that don't make any goddamn sense in reality. 
Well, it becomes blatantly clear they're idiots. So avoid the idiots and the assholes. Except for this one.